five of the coolest text effects that you can do inside of CapCut. If you want a mobile version for these text effects, drop me a like and drop a comment saying, I want a mobile version and I'll do it for you. All right, let's get into it. The first effect is actually one of my most viral effects. It's a video in text effect and it's so easy and you can do it in a couple seconds. For this, I'm gonna use a beach. I'm gonna go to text and add a default text layer. I don't like this font, so I'm gonna change it to the bold font and make it a little bit bigger so it covers. And I'm just gonna write beach. Now I'm gonna drag my text over the whole video. Once you're happy with your text, go to the first frame of your text and add a scale keyframe and a position keyframe. And then depending on how long you want that animation, go to the point that you want it to end, add another two keyframes in scale and position. Let's go to our first keyframe and make it so big that all we can see is white. So I think I'm gonna need 3000, and if I just position that a little bit, okay, we need to make it a bit bigger because we're still seeing some of the open space there. 3,200 is perfect. Now what's gonna happen is as I play our video, the text is gonna get smaller up until that end position. What you wanna do now is use a dark solid. So if I just paste this here, you can see that this is just a black video. Place it behind your text, grab those two layers and click Alt G to compound them. Go to video, change your blend mode to darken. And there we go. Now we have our video playing inside of our text and our text animates in. All right, let's move on. This next text effect is the melting text effect, a personal favorite of mine, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Okay, you're gonna need a couple different elements because I got your back. I've uploaded all these elements for you to test inside of a Google Drive link. If you love these elements and you wanna see some of my paid products, go ahead and check the link in the description and you can download and support the channel. We're gonna need these two elements. Again, this grunge film background or whatever background you want of your choice. I just love the way this looks. We're also gonna need a transparent ice cube, which is also in that Google Drive folder. Drag one on top of the other. Now what I'm gonna do is go to my text and add a default text layer, drag it over my whole video, and I'm gonna just write it as you saw in the reference, hustle. For my font, I'm gonna use VizVCF. You can obviously choose whatever font you want. Okay, once your text is done, go ahead and compound that. Right click, say compound. And we're gonna make three layers of our text by holding down Alt and just dragging that text layer. That's gonna create some different text. Let's start with our bottom text layer. So just highlight your top two and click V to mute those. Now what I need to do is go to my video, go to mask and create a rectangle mask. And we just wanna isolate the H. Perfect. Now we can click V on that text layer and open up this text layer. And now I just wanna highlight the U and S. So go to my video, create a rectangle mask and decrease the size. And let's just make sure by zooming in here, uh, we've just got the U and the S. Perfect, just like that. Deselect that, highlight your third layer and you guessed it, we're just doing the T, L and E. Now what I'm gonna do is reposition my ice cube over the U and the S and increase its size slightly. I'm gonna drag my ice cube above my text layers. So now the text is behind. What I need to do on my ice cube if I want the animated effect is go to effects, go to video effects, go nightclub and drag play pendulum onto my ice cube, but that makes it a bit too much for me. So I'm gonna decrease the twist by all, decrease the strength that's gonna shrink the ice cube size, lower sharpen and lower speed. You can just play around with however you want this. Last but not least, on our middle text layer, which is the U and S, I'm gonna search for an effect called Ripple. Go ahead and drag that effect directly onto our text layer. And then if we go to video, we can edit that effect. And I'm just gonna lower some of these effects. Now, if I play that, you can see that the US is slightly blurred. It's kind of melting and the ice cube is moving as well. A really cool melting text effect. All right, this next one is a text reveal effect. Super cinematic. You've seen it all the time in movies and series, etc. And it's really easy to do inside of CapCut. Have a video of you or somebody walking in a certain direction across the screen. Now we're gonna add a default text layer. I'm gonna make this text layer Visby and drag it over to the left because that's where our subject starts from. I'm gonna drag this text over my whole timeline and compound that clip. Now what we want is our subject to be in front of the text. So we're gonna make a duplicate layer and drag that over on top of our text. On our top text layer, we're gonna remove the background and say auto removal. So now our subject is gonna be walking and it looks like the text is behind our subject. From here, we can go back to our text layer, go to video and add a mask. Let's add a rectangle mask. We essentially now need to follow our subject as it walks, but before we do that, add one or two points of feathering. That's just gonna help this effect look smoother. And let's go to our first frame. I'm gonna drag our mask all the way to the left of frame and decrease its size and add a keyframe under size and position. Now with the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm gonna toggle forward until I see my subject 
and I can just keep the line of the mask, if I show you, right in the middle of our subject. So as he walks, I'm just gonna drag that over and keep toggling with my arrows every couple of frames, keep making sure that that line is in the middle of our subject. Cool, that is it. Now when I play that, let me show you. All right, we can see at some points that our text was revealed, so all I need to do is go back to mask and decrease that a little bit. It's just because of the feathering. So toggle back with your arrow and just make sure that that text isn't revealed before our subject crosses over at any point. And there we go. There is the text reveal. As our subject walks, he showcases that text. Let's move on. This next text effect is called the drop down under text effect. Let's head outside. All right, for this next one, I love it. It's super cool, one of my favorites. It's the dropping under your text. Start with your hands together, reveal your text. Now, I'm gonna drop under and go under my text. Now our text is behind us. What on earth? Let's do it in the edit. Having our video shot, I've directly imported that video inside of CapCut. I'm gonna add a default text layer above our video and change my font to Visby, just cause I like it. Now drag to the point where our hands are together and where they start to split. So that first frame or that last frame where our hands are together, I'm gonna to drag my text and position it over that frame. Drag my text over my whole timeline and create a compound clip with my text layer. Go to video, go to mask and click rectangle. And now I'm gonna drag my rectangle all the way together and position that center line directly over my hands. And because this is the last frame before my hands start to go wide, I'm gonna drag my compound clip and start it at the point where my hands are together add a keyframe under position and size, and let's use our arrow keys just like we did with the text reveal effect and drag our rectangle open as our hands open. Again, just using my arrow keys to toggle forward a couple frames, I'm gonna follow the motion of my hand, and this is the last frame, so I'm just gonna increase the size like that. Now what I would also do is add one or two points of feathering. Let's see how that looks. There we go, as our hands widen, our text is revealed. Now what we need to do is play our video through and find the point that I'm returning up from being under our text. And we're gonna click Control B and make a duplicate video again by holding Alt and drag that above our text layer. Now on this top video layer, go to Remove Background and say Auto Removal. Now when I play my video, our text is in front and as soon as we come up, our text is behind us because we have that top layer. And just to note here, you're not always gonna get a perfect outline. You can see it's kind of created a bit of a weird shadow effect. This is due to lighting and sometimes the auto removal doesn't work. So play around with some different clips and try and see what works best for you. And this last effect is a counting numbers effect. I will preface by saying I have made a pack for you that you can purchase on my site. The link is in the description. If you wanna do this manually, Here's how you do it. Go ahead and add a default text layer. I'm gonna just make this Visby CF. And for our first number, let's say for instance, I wanna go from one to 100,000. So my first number is gonna be number one, and I'll just make it one like that. Now, what I wanna do on my number, depending on how fast you want this animation to occur, I'm gonna add four frames of this number. So all I need to do is go to the beginning of my text layer, one, two, three, four, and click W to delete the back half. All right, so we have four frames of the text layer number one, okay? On my first text layer, I'm gonna go to animation, go to in, and find one called roll in, okay? You can see by default, it's gonna drag the animation over our whole text layer. I'm gonna drag our animation duration to be half of our text layer. Once we have this done, I'm gonna copy it a couple times and show you what I do. So by holding Alt, I can create a duplicate text layer and drag that text layer onto a new layer. What we don't wanna do is have the text come in as soon as our animation ends. So I'm gonna drag it a frame up so that if we go to the beginning, one, two, three, the second number comes in on the third frame of the first number, if that makes sense. And on the second layer, we can go ahead and change that value. Let's make it 23. So you can see our first number animates in and then our second number animates in. I'm gonna go ahead and do this a couple times. For these, I have 13 text layers going from one to 23 to 67 and getting ever so increasingly bigger up to 100,000. On our last 100,000 layer, I'm gonna go ahead and drag that longer so it stays on 100,000. Now, if I play that, you'll see what animation we have. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag all my text layers together and right click and say create compound clip, go to video, Let's add some motion blur and 
decrease that down a little bit and increase the blend. And then what I want to do is go to my mask, go to rectangle and make sure my rectangle mask is just where the text is so it doesn't go outside of the mask. Now, when I play that, I can see that my mask is chopping off a bit of the bottom. So I want to increase its size and drag that down a little bit. And there we go. Now, when we play our text layer, you can see it goes from one to 100,000 in this cool animation way. That's a great way to do counting numbers inside of CapCut. So there they are. There are five amazing text effects that you can use directly from CapCut. If you loved this video or if you want to see a mobile version, please go ahead and drop a like or drop a comment. I appreciate it so much. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next CapCut video. Cheers.